So I have a little bit of a bone to pick with Ubuntu and Canonical, and it's been a while, little while since I've done like a rant video, so I thought I would kind of get this off my chest. And the thing that I want to talk about today is that Ubuntu seems to have a little bit of an arrogance problem, and I'm not really talking about Ubuntu itself, more the people who work at Canonical on Ubuntu. Every once in a while, you just f get the feeling that they think that Ubuntu is the only distribution out there that really matters, and that everybody should know everything about Ubuntu. Now, I know what you're thinking. Matt, I think you're confusing Ubuntu with Arch. And while there's definitely a lot of arrogance that goes along with using Arch, by the way, Ubuntu has its own arrogance, and it's kind of peppered all the way through their documentation. So if you've ever actually looked at the Ubuntu documentation, specifically their database of packages, the one thing that you'll notice is that they automatically assume that you know exactly what the names of each release is, is called. So you'll know things like Focal Fossa and a Groovy Gorilla. You know, the, the idiotic names that they come up with to name all of their releases. The thing is, is I, like, I'm a Linux user. I've been a Linux user now for five and a half years, full time, and I've used Ubuntu many different times. And I can tell you right now, I have absolutely no clue what the name of the most recent release of Ubuntu actually is. I know it's something weird. I think it starts with an I. That's about as far as I can tell you, and I might even be wrong about that. Impish? Impish? I don't know. Don't know. And I couldn't tell you what the last release was. The only one that I remember for sure is Groovy Gorilla, and that's because that was the best name they've ever had. Let me show you actually what I'm talking about. So here I am in Ubuntu. I'm trying to get the River Window Manager installed. And I chose to do this on Ubuntu because I figured it would give me just a little bit of a challenge because I could just install it on Arch with through like a, through Pac-Man or the AUR. So I decided I was going to build it from scratch and just do it on Ubuntu just to, you know, say that I did. But as you would know if you have to build River is that there are a few dependencies that you need in order to build it. So it's just like every other window manager. They all have dependencies, especially when you're not dealing with one that's in a repository somewhere. And the thing is with Ubuntu is that they're not called the same thing as they are on Arch. So a lot of these dependencies aren't going to be called like live ev dev on Ubuntu. They have something additional to it. So like this one here is going to be live ev dev dash dev. But you don't know that. You have to look that up because no one knows all these packages or what they're called in Ubuntu. And Ubuntu has a package search mechanism. And here's what I'm talking about. So if you do a search for something like uh, this one, I think is for Pixman, which is a dependency for River. And if you see here, the versions of Pixman that are supported on different versions of Ubuntu are different. So some of them have this release number, some of them have this release number, and so on and so forth. So if you are using that particular version of Ubuntu, you have to download that particular version of Pixman. Now, it's not that big of a deal if you just can sudo apt install whatever the package name happens to be. But here's the problem, is if you can't do that, or you're looking for a specific version for whatever reason, the only version things they have here are the names of the Ubuntu releases. So you have to know which version of Ubuntu is called Bionic or Focal or Impish. And honestly, I'm not even sure that these things are in order. Like, it's possible that they're not in order. It's possible that they are. Like I said, I don't know the names. I don't pay that much attention. I just know that they're mostly stupid names. So I've filtered out that space in my brain to give to something else that's more important. The point is, is that if you don't know what version of Ubuntu that you're using, that what it's called, like, you, like I know on this version of Ubuntu, it's 21.10. I have no clue what the code name was. Couldn't tell you, but they expect me to know. That is very arrogant, I think, but also just supremely unuser friendly. Like it's not user friendly at all. Like in, in order for me to know precisely what package here I would need, if I couldn't get it through app, I would have to then go Google and say, what is Ubuntu 21.10 called? And, oh, this one here is Impish. So we know 21.10 was the version before 22.04. So if we go back here, 22.04, what was 22.04 called? That's going to be the Hearst Sweet Hippo, right? I think .04 maybe? Jammy Jellyfish, what the hell would I know? You go back here, you don't even see one. Like, Jammy is here, it actually is below it, but then why is Kinetic done? It's really confusing, right? It's just, I don't understand. 
So I just wanted to rant about that for about five seconds, or it ended up being more about five minutes. It's a stupid thing to care about. It's not going to affect most people. But this is just one example that I've come across this. In several different places, when you are searching for packages or PPAs or something like that, you have to know the version. Like, if you want to know if a PPA works with your version of Ubuntu. So, you might not know this, but each PPA is signed for the version of Ubuntu that it works on. So, if you want your PPA, which is basically a repository, to work on multiple different versions of Ubuntu, it has to be signed for every single version of Ubuntu that you are going to use. Now, I don't know if it's still the case, but at least at one point, when you went into the PPA pages, you would see that all of the listing of what versions of Ubuntu that, that PPA worked with was listed by name, just like this was. Which means that in order to know for sure if it would work with your version of Ubuntu, you had to know what the name of the version of Ubuntu you were working with. And that's just freaking annoying. It just bugs the crap out of me. So, dear Ubuntu, dear Canonical, stop assuming that I know what your stupid names are. And what, like, I thought that the most recent version of Ubuntu was Her Sweet Hippo, but apparently that was a couple of re releases ago already. And I think I only remember Her Sweet Hippo because I had to learn how to say Her Sweet and then I had to Google what it means, and I've already forgotten what it means, because everybody has. Like, no one remembers, very few people remember what it actually means. Now I'm going to go look it up again, because I need to know. But, I mean, we could talk ad nauseum about the fact that they keep using stupid names, but it's tradition at this point, whatever. But don't assume that I know what they are, and then give me documentation that makes that assumption because it's going to make me have to take another step of looking up the damn name and that just is going to piss me off and make me wish that I never left Arch uh, which I didn't leave Arch by the way I'm just using this as a VM but still the point stands Arch doesn't have version numbers but Ubuntu does have version numbers use the damn version numbers like there's no reason why you can't it would take up four extra characters on this page for them to put the version numbers right next door to it four extra characters and they could call it you know six extra characters if they had to put it in you know quotation marks or parentheses whatever four or six extra characters for each one of these uh, it's not going to affect the page load times it's not going to tell it's not going to cost the developer extra time because chances are the people who whoever created this page they probably know what it is you know they probably they're i'm sure that they know exactly what those version numbers are so it wouldn't take them any extra time to put those on there for people who don't know what the names are. It's just stupid. And it drives me nuts. And I needed to talk about it. And I didn't have an idea for the video today because I was not going to get River done in time. So uh, that will possibly happen tomorrow. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thanks for letting me rant to you for a little while for a completely pointless video for today. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and you are interested in hearing me rant about other things, you could uh, hit that subscribe button now because I do rant about things quite often because stupid things like this just piss me off for no reason. I need to just, you know, I need to go out and smell some grass or something because this is not a big deal, but still just it's something I want to talk about. So that is it for this video. If you want to get in contact with me, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can follow me on Mastodon and several other social media networks. All those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the LinuxCast. I'd like to thank my current patrons. Robert Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred, Kramer, Tri-Devil, Meglin, Jack, Snipe, Tool, Steve Ace, Deborah, Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Keith, Andy, Uncle Bonehead, Gary, Antoine, Mitchell, J-Dog, Carmen, Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin, e, Ross, Eduardo, Art Center, Elliot, Mislaw, Merrick, Cam, Dash, Lee, Peter, Ed, Crucible, Dark, Prince, Six, Primus, Kim, Arlo, and Philip. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.